It's going to be extremely agitated. It's right over here. We're in Sri Lanka, an emergency yeah, call. There is a cobra Maybe inside this person's house. Oh, shit. Cobra. Oh, there it is. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every year, venomous snakes kill around 100,000 people worldwide. When it rains, snakes slither out of their holes and they bite. Right over there? Yeah. Every time these farm workers slice into the weeds, they are risking their lives. So you've seen Russell's vipers around here? Oh, yes. They're more venomous than a cobra. This guy is nasty. He is the deadly Russell's Viper. That's when they can get stung. Snake expert Roy Maliapa got us face to face with the aggressive reptile. I'm, I'm seriously sweating here. Yuji Hemawathe knows the pain of snake bite all too well. A Russell's Viper killed her teenage daughter in one of those fields. We assume it was a Russell's Viper because we see them all the time in rice paddy fields. So why is snake bite so deadly? Turns out, there is no generic anti-venom. Hospitals have to exactly match the snake on the box with the snake that bit you. They kept her at the hospital until midnight. And in many countries, there is simply no anti-venom for local snakes. Dr. Gaur Romana. Welcome. Let's Thank go you in. for having us here. That may be about to change. So this is the anti-venom in uh, circulation throughout the hospitals on the clinical trials. So you basically don't even need to shake, it just dissolves on its own. The hospital and Mr. Maliapa's nonprofit anti-venom factory, AVRI, have teamed up to produce a cure that doesn't cost several thousand dollars a vial like it does in the United States. We can't compete for the developing world with those kind of costs. He's bitten on the, on the left foot. Doctors are testing the new $25 anti-venom right now. We were there as one of the first patients started his IV. So in 20 minutes, he'll have not one, not two, but five. Five. Yeah, all in vials. Well. Yes. So many years we have been working on these. Environmental scientist Dr. Sadath Kanagama tells us it seems to be working. But this is in the very early, early stages. stages. Yes. yes. There are no FDA trials here, no big corporation behind the medicine. That's how they have brought down the cost. <laughs> They recruit snake charmers to capture cobras, extract the venom in a local lab, and eventually make the anti-venom in country. Even though my daughter was not saved, I'm happy the next generation will have a cure. It's not just this jungle that's full of deadly snakes. No, this is happening in many parts of the developing world. The plan is to get this pilot program up and running here in the next two years, then spread it worldwide after that, saving tens of thousands of lives each and every year. In Kandalama, Sri Lanka, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.